friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday, it's a Friday, it is another weigh-in day. We're going to talk all about my week, the WW workshop topic and of course I'm going to share this week's weigh-in. So if you are excited for another Friday weigh-in, give this video a big huge thumbs up. If you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you join our community. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do upload five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. I just released my third recipe ebook, Dinner. It includes 15 WW friendly recipes, all plan points included, as well as calories. It is amazing. It turned out better than I could have ever expected, and it is the third ebook in a four ebook series. I've already released Breakfast, which also has 15 recipes, and Lunch with 15 recipes. So if you haven't picked up any of my ebooks, they're all linked down in the description box for you. Highly recommend. They are so easy and simple to create healthy meals quickly. You'll also find nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Know exactly what you should be eating every day to reach your goals. If you want to chat with me directly, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Make sure you head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you there. And all the links and discounts to my favorite things are also in that description box. So we have lots to chat about. We have a way in to do. Let's jump in. I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. It is already the middle of October. Halloween is right around the corner. The holidays are right around the corner. This time of year always goes so fast for me because it's my favorite time of year. And then I feel like summer just drags on and drags on because that's my least favorite time of year. But I'm loving the weather as it's gotten cold and crisp. I'm really feeling that comfort food vibe and I've really been enjoying my workouts more since I don't have to sweat before my workout and after. I can simply work out, sweat, go outside, it's nice and cool, and then recover from there. I have been loving this fall weather. As I've shared in my last couple of weigh-ins, my goal for the month of October is to lose some weight. I was going to take a bit of a diet break, but I decided to go ahead and finish out the month of October, hoping to see a little bit of results on the scale. Last two weigh-ins, I have lost weight, and let's talk about this week and whether or not I lost weight for the third week in the month of October. But before we jump into my weigh-in, I want to share with you guys this week's WW workshop topic. This week's topic is, are you ready to become sugar savvy. As we know, no food is bad or good. However, consuming large amounts of sugar or even sugar alternatives can have some negative health effects as well as negative effects on your weight loss. It's best to come up with a plan to decrease the amount of sugar that you're consuming every day, especially in the form of added sugar. Now the sugar in fruit is very different than the sugar in a Snickers bar. We're talking more on added sugar. It's okay to have fruit because it's naturally occurring sugar it doesn't spike your insulin, it doesn't spike your blood sugar levels like added sugar does, and it's a natural sweetener, which again is very different than a processed sweetener. Now, you also know I love my sweets. I am a self proclaim sweets lover. If you put a cookie in front of me and a bag of chips, I'm picking the cookie every single time. So this topic is absolutely relevant to me and that is to just decrease the added sugar just a little bit to help you become healthier and to be a little bit more successful on your weight loss journey. So number one is to choose a strategy to help you eat less added sugar. Feel free to come up with your own ideas, but here's a few that WW shared. Number one is to go with non-fat plain Greek yogurt and add your own berries, peanut butter, honey, whatever it is that you want to add to that to sweeten it up versus the sugar filled flavored Greek yogurts on the market. You can also sprinkle on a bit of cinnamon or nutmeg to pump up the flavor in oatmeal rather than adding in the sugar. If you love carbonated beverages in general, you can really amp up carbonated water by adding some natural things to it. Give it a spa makeover, add some mint, ginger, lime, lemon, 
cucumber. You can even add berries to enhance the flavor of otherwise plain sparkling water. Those are some great ways to really amp up the flavor. Now let's talk about some ways to reduce the sugar. If you're like me and you love nut butter, make sure that you're choosing one that just contains nuts and or some salt. Make sure there's no added oil or added sugar. Become a master granola maker. Granola is generally loaded with added sugar, so make your own at home. Grab some oats, nuts, seeds, spices, let your taste buds lead the way. If you don't want to make granola at home, there are some lower sugar, healthier options on the market. Number one for lowest points is going to be Julian Bakery Granola. It's really good. It's low point. It's low carbohydrate. I'll link it down below with a discount for you. And my other favorite is Purely Elizabeth Granola. Now this, some of the flavors have a little bit more added sugar, but they have nice clean ingredients. It is a little bit higher in points and calories, but it's truly a delicious granola. If you're just not up for making your own at home. And the third tip is to skip the sugar when you're baking. Use substitutions like pumpkin puree, unsweetened applesauce, mashed bananas, or even pureed butternut squash. All of these are going to give you the sweetness that you want in your baked goods without the added sugar. Now let's talk about some smart sugar swaps. If you love Starbucks, if you love frequenting your local coffee drive through ask your barista to use half the amount of flavor that they generally put into your drink. Chances are you're not going to really notice and you'll definitely get used to having it a little less sweet and you'll be saving just a ton of added sugar. If you love sweet cereal, my favorite, Lucky Charms, there's a great tip and trick you can do to still enjoy your favorite sugary cereal. Pair it with a plain cereal, half and half. Half plain cereal like bran or cornflakes and half of your favorite sweetened cereal. That way you're still getting that whole sweet cereal vibe but for much less added sugar much less points and calories. Now think about some of these strategies to reduce sugar and create a plan that works for you. We're all different, so the plan that works for me isn't going to be the plan that necessarily works for you. But think of a plan for you to help reduce your added sugar that will work for you that's sustainable long-term. Put that plan into play, and once you've done it for a few weeks, sit back and reflect on how that went. What did you do good? What did you do that could use some improvement? Is it something you can stick with? Did it it work for you? Did you feel like you were deprived, which could lead to possibly overeating? Really reflect and think about the changes that you made and if they're suitable for you long term. I want to quickly define the difference between natural sugar and added sugar a little bit more in depth for you that will tie this whole workshop topic together. So natural sugar is a carb that's already in foods like dairy, fruit, and vegetables, and those are part of a healthy eating pattern. Now added sugar even more sugar was manually added into your food or drink. It's hiding in things like cookies and cake and could be in your favorite flavored milk, yogurt, and oatmeal too. The best rule of thumb is to just look at the nutritional label, look at how much added sugar is in your item, and then choose the healthiest option. But remember, the difference between added sugar and naturally occurring sugar is very, very, very different. So I think this is a great topic. It's very, very relevant if you're someone like myself that loves sugary things. That you can still have sugar. You can still have added sugar just in moderation. Just make healthier choices. Remember my 80-20 approach. 80% 80 foods that are healthy and good for you and 20% foods that I love, which could include cake, cookies, and added sugar. So now let's go ahead and jump in to this week's weigh-in. Like I said, it's the third week of October, and I am happy to report that it is the third week in a row that I have lost weight. When I stepped on the scale, I'm down 0.8 pounds, which is almost an entire pound. So that means that I have lost all three weeks of, of October, including this last week, which was my least favorite time of the month. If you know, you know. I was still able to lose weight. I am hitting my goals. I'm loving how I'm feeling. I'm eating more than I've ever eaten, and I'm still losing weight every single week, which is exactly how I want to lose weight. I want to feel full and satisfied and never, ever feel deprived, but still get results and see the scale move in the right direction. Now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Let me know how you feel about natural sugar versus added sugar. And if you need to implement some of these changes and eat a little bit less added sugar every single day, let me know how your week was and what your goals are moving into the last couple weeks of October. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to it. We would 
love to have you join our community and that way you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for all three recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things. And don't forget to join us on Facebook, another amazing community that would love, love, love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul.